Hi, I'm Simon, organiser of London Green Drinks here at the Dog Star in Brixton. Green Drinks is a free event for green-minded people just interested in learning more or to network and make friends. Each month we have three different speakers from an environmental charity, a green company or people just starting a green project or promoting some kind of environmental idea. Do join us. Uh, London Green Drinks is the second Tuesday of each month here at the Dog Star in Brixton. It's free and it starts at 6.30. Do come along. Cheers. We have much in common, actually, with our concerns about climate change, unsustainable consumption, poverty, pollution, disappearing wildlife. <laughs> I think it's just great to be um, in, in a somewhat more intimate space where you can kind of have a real chat with people. Um, and it's just great to be around like-minded people as a whole and have like a chill evening like this where you, know, you get some great ideas, you get some creative juices flowing and then a lot of the time because everyone is interested in the same sort of sectors that you are, there's things that you can apply to what you're doing um, without it necessarily, even if they're completely different ideas. So, um, yeah. It's the first time today, which has been brilliant. I think it's excellent. I listened to a very interesting speaker, and I came along to meet more people. Yeah, yeah. I've really enjoyed meeting people from all classes and backgrounds. And a lot of varied viewpoints, so you don't just hear the same thing over and over again, which is quite interesting. You just don't want your views to be confirmed by the same Hmm. So definitely come along. <laughs> well, a few years ago when I was studying for my Master in Energy Management at the French Business School, you know, it's one of medium sales projects in Boston and I joined the sales team. Whilst in Dubai, I was still trying to plan this year. In March of this year, at the Influx Trust Hackathon, and in collaboration with the United Nations, talk a little bit more about what happened in the Amazon. But the idea was originally inspired by uh, a video I saw on YouTube called The Story of Stuff. Has anyone seen that by Annie Leonard? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it addresses the current producer consumer model, which is laying waste to our natural resources and harming the environment, causing serious human suffering. So we believe that the economics is the key driver behind it conspicuous consumption and poor production practice. And if we can shift buying habits, we can break the supply and demand chain, guiding the marketplace towards more sustainable. The alternatives as good as that. Because buying buying lots of stuff is like lot, there's lots of forces enabling us to do that and encouraging us to do that. That's my name, Harfia Abdul Halim. Well Harfia Halim look as hard as you can, everything around you, the ground tells you to do. Um, however hard you look, you will never fathom for subtlety and of God's creation. Three things. What, what the Christian scriptures, which of course in the first bit are Judeo-Christian scriptures, um, have to say on the environment. Then I'll look at the history of Christian practice, actually, on the environment, which may be something else again, as uh, we probably can say about all religions. And then I want to look more, more concretely on the opportunities right now for Christians, in my case, but, but people of faith also, I'm sure, to do something positive um, as part of wider civil society movements uh, to tackle environmental issues. Um, I do think there are huge opportunities, as well as obviously a very big need for all sectors of civil society to kick in very fast um, before it's too late on both climate change and on uh, biodiversity, habitat issues and so on. Um, and we need the faith groups, I think, in particular, for reasons I've explained, to kick in. Um, it's not that they're not, but actually, if you look at the, dis the, the gap between what the scriptures actually say, what faith groups often say they believe, and what is actually happening, what they're doing, it's a huge gap, let's be honest. Yet throughout much of Christian history, Christians have interpreted that as he came for us, he didn't come for the forest, the camp is there, which is what it says. If, 
Yeah, but like also the policy making so good. Let the green drinks! Yeah, that was the whole syllable. Really good fun. Oh, that was the green drinks! Woo! Awesome. It's really good to be reconnected again with uh, like minded people, um, learn lots of things um, that are in your neighborhood that you didn't know are happening. Uh, things about the community, bringing people together, bringing um, interaction. Think of all those 15 year olds. Boom. That's representative of what can happen and why we could be inundated with people. There is, of course, some emigration out of the country, but not much. Some countries have tackled this um, splendidly and managed to bring their fertility rates down. And I would sort of quote, for example, Thailand, which had a big campaign years back, did a splendid job. India, which has struggled and struggled um, with a huge population, which is about to overtake China as the biggest. But they've managed to keep their fertility rate now down to 2.4, which is pretty bloody good going. Uh, replacement, by the way, is 2.1, just so you know. Contraception, family planning, needs to be provided in many, many, many areas where it doesn't exist. Uh, there are, it is estimated, there are currently 214 million women of childbearing age who have no access to modern contraception. 214 million women. Think how many babies they could have. What's more, it's no good just dishing out the condoms. Uh, they need education and they need a variety of methods that they feel comfortable with and that gives them control. Uh, a woman, you may be astounded to hear, cannot easily control use of a condom. Let's say you were born in, I don't know, 1985. Take a random date, why not? That's about here. Since you were born, the population has grown that much if you were born in 1985. How do you feel about that? It's very... Bit of a gulp? Um, things like the plague and the Black Death only produce tiny little blips. And that is what happens with epidemics. So that's the picture. That's what we've got. The population of the UK at the moment is around about 65 and a half, but um, that's in this country and of course that's growing. Where is the main uh, growth area? Where, where are we looking at the boom? Well, mainly of course in sub-Saharan Africa. And I'd like to pick one example of the country in sub-Saharan Africa which has the biggest population, uh, Nigeria. So, I said sub-Saharan Africa is the big boom. And this may lead you to think, well, yes, we're saying it's their problem. Not a bit of it. It is our responsibility very much too, because we are all big, big consumers and big, big producers, as you all know. And this is what you and Green Drinks are probably battling with. But that is the problem in the developed world. And so in the developed world, it's important for us here to think about the number of kids we produce. The UK, in this country, we import over half our food and animal feed. we all care about. One American is responsible for 40 times the emissions produced by a Bangladeshi. So you can see the impact of one American versus one Bangladeshi.
great. Um, I think it's a great way to meet lots of different people, different backgrounds, um, share ideas. And we had three good speakers tonight, all with different ideas. Great stuff. Awesome. Caring and chip. Uh, really interesting for the key library of things. Uh, I think it's a really great concept. So yeah, I enjoyed it. I knew about Green Drink from Beijing, which is where I used to go. And then after I moved to London, I just needed to sit up and saw that it was a good story too. And it's always interesting to come to Green Drink. It's always that people do interesting projects and stuff and train their ideas and this. So yeah, I've enjoyed people leaving. Yeah, it's great to meet like-minded people for a drink. Yeah, yeah, see you know, what potential yeah. opportunities you might get from the connections you make. Uh, yeah. London Green Drinks! <laughs> so what did you enjoy tonight? Yeah, it's great. London, London Green, 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 Green Drinks! London, London Green, Green, Green Drinks! London Green Drinks! London Green Drinks! Awesome. <laughs>